basketball related, but you see guys starting to round into form. No Trevor Keels again tonight, still recovering from that lower leg injury. So Jeremy Roach is back in the starting lineup. David Collins, P.J. Hall, and Chase Hunter. That's Alamir Dawes, who has the ball out of bounds. Blue Devils watching the first shot of the night go in. Nine assists, just one turnover. His last two games, 15 assists, two turnovers. First three ball on the way and is knocked down from Wendell Moore. A little bit difficult to come by for the gentleman in orange. Here's Griffin going in the paint, and it's a block and a chance for a three-point play. <laughs> we might want to mark this down. Not sure whether P.J. Not just their ball pressure, but Duke is looking a little more old school with their ability to get out in passing lanes, try to force you a little further out on the field. How about Chase Hunter? Mike Krzyzewski winning his 1,000th game. Wide open on the back screen. Beautiful play. Hunter has five of Clemson's first seven points. Here's Williams in there. Good pass. And a good finish from Bancaro, the five-time ACC freshman of the week. Alamir Dawes misses Williams, cleans it away for the Blue Devils. Here goes Roach. Bancaro! Hunter cut off by... John is the Blue Devil switch and switch back and now right through the middle Collins goes all the way to the bucket. He's able to throw the ball around the perimeter because Collins was able to turn down that ball screen so he, he didn't have to go off and use it he just refused it. Is now the quarterback for the New York Giants. His sister Ruthie though is probably the best athlete in the family. She's a goalkeeper for the Duke soccer team. There's Joey Baker. No player in ACC history has ever done that for a single season. That's remarkable. Collins goes right by the freshman Jalen Blakes, who just checked into the game for Duke and scores, and he's got four and Clemson back within two. Bayon came into the game, I think, second leading really score in the ACC. He held him two for 15 from four. It's one made three-pointer from one of the better three-point shooters in the country. Another turnover for the Blue Devils. That's five now. Nick Honor, who's really been struggling to shoot the ball. In ACC games, but Nick Honor was a, an outstanding player at Fordham. And their best free throw shooter, their top assistant. And the answer from Bates Jones. One guy even the Blue Bloods using the court. There's Middlebrook with a strong move, but that's not strong enough to get over the ACC's leading shot blocker. Clemson a one-point lead, and Brad Brownell wanted a strong first ten minutes of the game, and he's gotten it as Bates Jones goes back to work. He hit one from behind the arc now, a deuce. A 2-3 zone right now for Duke. And now it's Bill Hannon, transfer from Youngstown State. He gets his first bucket of the night. Cabello and Kofi Cobra not playing for Illinois tonight. ACC with only... Five teams. You see opportunity, Jay, for that number to grow as Baker hits another three. You have to beat the top teams in the conference. So Duke, Miami, Florida State, those are the high-value targets that you have to go out and get. A.J. Hall, the nice feed right to the elbow. Tino you know, Mobley, Luther Clay, that was a heck of a ball club. Well, we were talking about that team before the game. It almost came within an eyelash of going to the Final Four. Alamir Dawes. Clemson has been razor sharp in their execution. And Carroll thought about it. Now the Baker, who's already hit a couple of them, make a three for Joey Baker. He's got nine. Good cut from Tyson. Tremendous speed from all. Actually, two good passes on that play. Here's the pass. Collins knew that Tyson was open and got the ball to Hall so he could make the pass. When the defense converges on Hall, that means that Theo John's got to come up. Baker's been around here a while, reclassified and joined the freshman class with Ian Williamson, R.J. Baird. There's Hemingway off the screen, and there is the shooter from Clemson, and Tigers have their biggest lead, 31-26. I think in 1995, Rick Barnes was the coach of Clemson. I believe he was, and that was the last game, and Williams has a chance for three points. Which I consider a cathedral of the game. And go to Allen Fieldhouse. What a great steal by Wendell Moore Jr. And Moore gives Duke the lead. Dawes to Collins, uses the rim nicely, and a follow by P.J. Hall, and Clemson has the lead. That's a half dozen. Shot blocker, post presence, and now developing as a scorer. Gives him yet another weapon. Roach really putting the heat on Dawes, and just before the half, how about the answer?
Spencer. Again tonight against the Duke defense and since the calendar has turned to 2022, it's holding teams right around 20% a little over as Paolo Bancaro gets his first bucket of the second half. Size advantage the Blue Devils have. Just look at the size advantage that Bancaro has on Hunter Tyson. Tyson 6'8 himself and Tyson fouls him and the shot goes down. He never had a lot of time on his hands to dissect the minutia of broadcasting, did he? But that was a great shot. <laughs> Tyson getting a little redemption and answering. Dribbled it off his foot. Now Roach finds an open lane and slams it all. Almir Dawes calling for the screen from Hall. Let's see if Dawes can get to the bucket. He finds the shooter, the extra pass. Hunter. One dribble and knocks down the three. Just beautiful basketball. Great ball movement. Williams. Boy, Reese, how much pressure does Mark Williams put on an opposing big guy to run the floor? Probably. Well, he makes that shot. Here's an easy one. Biggest lead of the night for the Blue Devils at a half dozen. Bancaro is now up to six. It seems simple. Stay between your man and the basket. Make him run through your chest. Good pass. D.J. Hall with the finish, the assist coming from Chase Hunter. The field, he missed the layup, but he gets it back and bunts and can reset. Bert Bancaro's footsteps. Collins for three, and it nestles off, and Clemson keeps fighting back at seven. Here comes the double. And the skip to Moore from the corner. But the only place that I think that is Cameron's equal is Allen Fieldhouse. I mean, that is the St. Andrews of college basketball. Shot in the gut area, so you hope that's all it is. And they will be able to come back shortly by Carroll kicking it out to Moore. And Carroll has his pocket pick, another two turnover. Honor has numbers. Hemingway goes strong, and the block, a chance for a three-point play for Hemingway. And A.J. Griffin returns for Mike Krzyzewski. Good to see Collins back in the game. Leave it on the outside, and there's a touch from P.J. Hall, just like you asked for. After the great play defensively from Collins, but still fighting tooth and nail, down by two. Williams, good free throw shooter, and hits one from the perimeter, and the big fellas in double figure. Roach working on honor, now kicks it back to Griffin. Ben Carroll, good look from the corner. Just that simple penetration by A.J. Griffin through three defenders. Honor pushing it ahead, Hunter. Good pass to Tyson, and he drills it. Hunter Tyson with the three, he has nine. Duke hasn't shot it badly either. P.J. Hall with a great block out. Hunter's going to take it all the way. Another answer for Quentin. Gets the rebound. I think Hunter really did a good job blocking out the much bigger Paolo Bancaro. That beats him down the floor. Runs to the spot. Knocks down the... And he can go with that triple handoff. Now the little four or five ball screen got the switch. Now he's got Hall. Broke from the corner. And it's a much needed three ball for Duke and for Rope. Again, working on Baker. Chase Hunter, the pull up. Chase Hunter with a tough shot to tie it. But we talked about his ability to make challenged and difficult shot. Shot clock at five. Collins, the runner, the lefty. No, the tip by Ty. Oh, and falls. That looked like it was going to fall out and fell in. They won their last two games against top ten teams. Both those were last year. Looks like there was glue on that ball, kept it on the rim. Now Roach has hit two in a row. Moore has also been out there the entire night. Baker, the only guy in foul trouble, playing with four. Joey's hit three threes, and now adds a two to give Duke the lead. Tough drive. In second half, Paulo Bancaro overhaul. The Tigers have answered all night, and they have one more in them. Tyson to Hall, short jumper, left on the rim, rebound by Carroll, and a foul is called. Williams has set the ball screen, trying to get a, a switch. Van Carroll might have had a chance at the dagger, now Tyson's ahead of the field, and Clemson's within two with 38.6 to go. And you have to think that you want the ball in Van Carroll's hands, he's made some good decisions. A road test for five, now Van Carroll has it, he goes over the top and scores. No, sir. 
Hunter Tyson, double clutch. And with 1.7 to go, Clemson cuts it to two. And Duke's gonna get out of the home game with a hard fought 71 to 69 victory.